Hello, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're filming at our seasonal campsite in upstate Pennsylvania in the Endless Mountain Range. Our site is called Baralicious, like we call our house LG Manor. It's summertime, it's 90 degrees, and we're having a dinner party. I'm gonna be making a grilled watermelon salad. So come on into my kitchen and let's celebrate. Here we are in my kitchen, ready to get cooking. So we're making a grilled watermelon salad with arugula, feta cheese, and reduced balsamic vinegar. The first thing to start with is the vinegar. I have here a bottle of just moderately priced vinegar, um, just a store brand. We don't need a very expensive one because we're just going to reduce it. So what I've done is I've taken about half the bottle, about four ounces or so, and I've put it in a small saucepan, put it on the stove, brought it up to the boil, and then reduced it to a simmer until it reduced down to almost nothing. It's very thick and syrupy now, but it still has to cool. So we're just gonna put this back, let it continue to cool, and it will get even thicker while it's cooling. Next step is the beginning of the salad. Now you'll see this whole recipe goes really fast. Oops. I'm starting with some arugula. Some people call this rocket, arugula rocket. It's a great pairing for this salad because it has a peppery, sharp taste and it will go well with the saltiness of the feta and the sweetness of the watermelon and balsamic. Now look how easy this is. We're just going to take a few little handfuls. Nice little messy pile. So many of my recipes, they don't have to be perfectly set up and composed. Yet yeah, this still gives a little elegance to it, I think because of the grilled watermelon. It's a very impressive salad to serve to people. Just gonna put this aside. Next is our feta cheese. I just have a block of feta cheese, plain feta. This doesn't have any herbs or flavorings in it. Now, if you don't like feta cheese, you could use goat cheese, you could use blue cheese, whatever you like. But I like the saltiness of feta, plus it's firm, so it has a nice mouth feel to it. Now, I'm just going to cut this into little cubes, bite size. in half and we're just going to place them haphazardly on our greens just a few on each okay let's put this all aside the next thing is the watermelon Actually, let me bring this whole thing over. I have here some watermelon cut in pieces, like little planks. I actually bought them that way at my supermarket. If you can't find them like this, you can always ask someone in the produce section and then more than likely will go and cut them for you. Or just buy a watermelon, cut them into small pieces of whatever shape that you like. It's very easy. I would recommend trying to get a seedless watermelon if you can, but if not, well, that's part of the fun of having a watermelon salad is the seeds. So next step, we have to grill this. So right now, it's off to the grill. Okay, here we are at the grill. We're just going to put these on the grill for just 
30 seconds to a minute to get some nice sear marks on it. We're not cooking the watermelon. Getting that sear mark on it is gonna give a little caramelization, which will make the watermelon even sweeter. And it looks really cool. So first thing, we've got our grill screaming, screaming hot. You want your grill as hot as you can possibly get it because your watermelon only needs to be on there for a few seconds, practically. First, we need to oil our grill. Little cooking spray on a kitchen towel or a wad of paper towels. With our tongs. Don't want to burn myself. Just quick oiling. And that's that. That's all done. Now, watermelon goes right on. Oh, and there's a bee. Part of filming outside. All right, you hear that sizzle? That's what we want. We're just gonna let them sit here for a minute to get those sear marks. Check this one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Just 30 seconds or so on the other side and we'll be done. All right. And that's that. Now we plate. Alrighty, we've grilled our watermelon. Now it's just as easy as assembling the salad. We're just going to take one little plank here, one little plank here, maybe get rid of a couple seeds. Nice little crisscross. Do another. Now for that balsamic vinaigrette. Whoops, that balsamic vinegar that we reduced. I have here, you see it's nice and thick and syrupy. Drizzle artfully or messily right over the top. Easy, pretty, delicious. Now, another way to serve this would also be as a little bite-sized appetizer. And we'll do the same thing. Little bit of balsamico right on the top. Just like that. How pretty. Now, let's go over to the table and taste. Oh, okay. Here we are with our grilled watermelon salad. Simple, elegant dish of watermelon, arugula, feta cheese, and reduced balsamic vinegar. Now, I'm just gonna taste this little bite-sized one we have, and then let's just get at it. Mmm. Little wine. That's wonderful. Great taste of summer. Crispness and sweetness of the watermelon paired with the peppery arugula, the saltiness of the feta cheese, and all brought together by that reduced balsamic vinegar. Now guys, as always, we're gonna put the recipe up in the comment section of YouTube, as well as any links to products that we've used. Now, ask us questions. We love to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Tell us, what would you serve this at? Would it be a birthday party, a celebration, an anniversary, or just a summer barbecue? And remember, hit that like button so everyone knows that you liked our episode. And so you don't miss any of them, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We don't want you to miss a single episode. And hit that notification bell so you always get told when the next episode is out. That's all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Cheers.